turn my my screen off and then back on. I don't know what's wrong with my camera. I'm going to get an external camera and see if that doesn't fix it. Welcome everybody to the call. This is our Wow Wednesday testimonial call. Uh, I am going to start off with a disclaimer. The AO scan technology is not a medical device. The statements shared on this call have not been ev evaluated by the FDA. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. If you are sick, please consult with your health care provider. Um, if you can see my screen, and I hope everybody can, if you can't, just unmute yourself and let me know. Uh, I'm going to start off the call with my mother's testimonial because it's pretty profound. Um, this is her that is that I've got pulled up. I've also got this in the, the AO scan for life group. Um, she, in her past, in, in her younger life, worked at some uh, uh, manufacturing companies and she was also an aircraft, uh, she was on the aircraft mechanic uh, doing some some putting stuff together and both of these jobs she one job was a rubber plant and it it sprayed chemicals on her throughout the day and she didn't realize how much of an effect that had on her until a little later um, this is a picture of her in October of 2020 and I started I started with her with the AO scan in October of 2020. And this is her before picture. And if you'll notice all the inflammation in her face and how puffy she looks, just take note of that. One month later, she breaks out. And we were scanning and optimizing every day. We were changing her diet. Um, and you can see the severity of this breakout. It went all the way up above her eyes. It went down her chest. It was all over her arms. She had it in the hot spots, you know, like in the groin area and whatnot. It was itchy. Um, and it weeped also. She would wake up in the night and there would be a lot of weeping coming out of the left side of her head and the left ear. Tammy? Yes, ma'am. Did you start scanning in October and this is a Hertz response? Yeah, well, I, I assume that it is a Hertz timer response. Um, okay. I was just trying to clarify timeline that she was just puffy and then this happened. So then you started scanning, but you knew she had issues. You scanned and this is kind yes. of some of the steps that happened. Yes. In fact... Okay. She thought that the scanner was making her worse. And she asked, she goes, I think you're making me worse with the scanner. And of course, we all know as practitioners that sometimes you do get a little worse before you get better. <laughs> and what was happening is this was pulling out, I believe, all the toxins. She's never been on any medications. Um, she was early on in her childhood. They had her on a bunch of antibiotics. So we feel like she detoxed not only from probably the antibiotics and the, the gut issues she was having. She is also diabetic. Um, I monitored her all through this. I also had a naturopath on standby that had assessed her and knew all of her stuff. So I had, I had people on the sidelines helping me as I was doing this with her. Um, we, we severely changed her diet. We took away all gluten. We took away sugar. Um, we, I mean, you talk about a, a complete revision of her entire diet and, and her routine. We completely did that. Um, but we continued to scan. We used homeopathy. I used uh, lots of different supplements to help her, to help guide her body through this. She, we, we switched out and got her good water. She was eating mainly plant-based. 
And then we figured out a little later on, she had another assessment in her, her blood type. She does not do well on plant-based. So we switched her up and put her on. Now she's eating um, some small portions of bison and turkey. And she does really well with that. But chicken, beef, uh, eggs, all of that shows as sensitivities to her still to this day. Um, like I said, I monitor her. We, we do like a collective scanning on her about every six months now, but right at the beginning, I was doing it every month just to kind of make sure we were still on track. Uh, but she's on, she's not on any medications. I do want y'all to know that too. Um, this is how the rash came to the back side of the body. And then it, this is when it started to clear up just a little bit. Uh, oh no, this was still 1120. So this is still that same month. So you can kind of see how it's, it's going all over the body. Um, this was in January of 2021. So here we are, let's see, October. So November, December, January. So three months in, and you can see she still has the redness, but this, you know, the scabby looking stuff has cleared up. Uh, we did use an unconventional treatment that if anybody wants to message me afterwards, I'd be happy to share that. I'm not gonna share that on this call though, uh, but I do believe that along with the scanning and this particular treatment, it did kind of help her. Um, but like I said, it's very controversial. So I'll put it, I'll leave it at that. This is in two of 2021 um, and her arms, you can see that it's just it, those completely red. I mean, her arms were completely red. She's lost about probably about thirty pounds at this point, um, but the but the rash is just kind of all over her body. But we do think that it was a lot of the chemicals that she was exposed to that was coming out too, as well as she was having some gut problems, a very unbalanced gut. But here is uh, February of 2021. It's nearly almost all cleared up. Now I'm telling you, we ran CEPIs on her nearly 24 hours a day. Um, scanning twice a day. Uh, the, the, uh, at this time, we only had the vitals, the comprehensive and the inner voice, but now she does the easy scan every day. She does that first thing in the morning. Um, and this is just another picture. Here's seven of 2021. Everything's cleared up. She's just looking amazing. This is her. She's lost about 50 pounds. She feels amazing. She feels like she's, you know, gotten her life back. She starts bowling. She used to bowl as a youngster and was on league. So bowling is one of her loves. So she she just looked incredible. So then I ended up taking her. She hadn't had a haircut in in a long time. And let me see if I can share that picture with you. Uh, when I went and took her for her first haircut in a very, very long time, you, if you could have just saw her face uh, when we got that done, um, here, here's that. I, I just sat there and cried uh, when they got done with her, when she got done with her, but she, she just is all lit up and, and she just feels completely wonderful. But like I said, we still do the easy scan on her every day. She does run some CEPIs on her. The diabetes is pretty much completely under control now. Um, and she does eat some animal protein, but a lot of fruits and vegetables is her main diet. And uh, one of these days, I hope to get her on the call so that everybody can just see how beautiful she looks. But she is just, she's just one of the best compliant people I've ever dealt with because she, she even does the hard work. She had a very negative script running in her head um, she was very, um, very much a, <sighs> never could believe that she would ever feel good in her life. So she is 72 years old and we've been on this journey. I've been on this journey with her for the last two years and she just looks and feels incredible now. And I couldn't be happier uh, about what, about the way it all turned out. But uh, anyway, that's my mom's testimony. And everybody always asks me, how's she doing? How, you know, how's everything going with her? And she's just doing great. So um, anyway, I wanted to open the call up for anybody else that has any testimonies. This one was a pretty profound one, but we can use small testimonies, big testimonies. So I'll let anybody that wants to unmute.
unmute and share what they may have. And I'm going to stop sharing my screen and I'll just go back to the to us. Anybody have anything they'd like to share? How the scanner has helped them at all? I can share one more of Scott's if y'all would like. I was going to say, hi, this is Lori. Hi, Lori. How are you? How are you? Good. Um, Doing well. So I just want, I just wanted to share. Um, so since I had um, VID uh, several times, mm -hmm. I've developed migraines and, you know, other issues, heart issues. Thought I was doing better. Um, I'm a nurse for those of you that don't know. And um, we've had like this spike of pregnant women coming in all positive with that and the flu. And I was like, my husband was coming to visit and I was like, oh my gosh, I cannot get sick. This like, no, <laughs> this is not <laughs> happening. And of course I got like the four shifts I worked that week, I got all of those patients. And I, on my third shift was just not feeling good, had a bad headache. And the doc's like, you know, you just don't look good. I was like, it's like my head is throbbing. And that was like my one, like I got sinus issues and always thought like, no, I don't have that. It's sinus, it's sinus. Well, long and short, I was like, okay, look, y'all, I need to take my break. And I was like, let me get out the scanner and scanned while I was, I was like, I'm taking my break, went into the break room and literally in between every patient, I was like, like probably four times that night. I, I was like, okay, I'm going to go scan again because like, I felt it kind of easing, but still was like just not gone yeah but I remember the last time I had it like it put me out for like a good two weeks so I was like yeah. no this is not happening and I can say I used the scanner and did not get it again yeah. migraine was gone and scanned a few girls at work who were like what on earth are you doing? <laughs> That's awesome, Lori. And I was just like, and it felt so good though, not to have to be like relying on a medication. Like, is it going to work? Is it not going to work? I don't know. You know, it just, it's nice to know that you have that tool in your back pocket. And then I also, when I came home, um, did a playlist on continuous while I slept yeah. to, you know, ward it all off to. So it's you definitely made a huge very difference very in my life. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, even though our, our AO scanners are very subtle, it's the consistency over time. The body just recognizes those frequencies and they use it, it uses it well. And the more you do it, I mean, Lauren says it in almost every, be the product of the product. And if you are, I promise you, you'll get results. Um, you've got to be consistent with it. I had one gal call me up on my team and she says, Tammy, I've had this thing for three months and I don't feel any different. And I said, what scans do you do every day? Oh, I don't, I just do the Cephi. So <laughs> <laughs> do your inner voice every day I promise if you'll do your inner voice every day you will start to see a shift uh Tamara Smith is asking what scans did you do Lori um so I like the other person you just mentioned was not doing scans every day and thought meh I don't need to do this every day you yeah know. I'll just do it when I remember yeah. And as I was feeling like getting sick, I was like, okay, you know what? 
I need to do the inner voice every day. Uh huh. And so now it is my routine, especially like, and I do it right before I go into work. I sit in my car and I do my scan. And then I do another one when I leave work and do any clearing and everything like clear before I go in, shield before I go in, do it. And just those things I've noticed have made such a difference, even just in like how, I don't know if it's like emotionally how I feel or like that I don't, things don't, or people don't necessarily get on that nerve if that's probably not the most PC thing to say but like oh I I just feel like you know it's I can feel the difference Mm -hmm. in myself which then of course other people are like what's like you're just they're like even like it's been hellacious here and you're just like do 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 let's go on and I was like I said, you have to, I'm like, I said, this job will like, you need to be able to just do your thing and have that calm, have that inner yeah. peace. Because, And then it also radiates out to your patients, which, sure you know, is a nice added bonus. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that that's something that I noticed whenever I first started using the scanner yeah. myself. Um, I was in a very dark, dark place. Um, and I had just gotten myself off of three 30 milligram morphines a day plus oxycotton that I'd been on for over seven years for chronic pain, but I had used a, a different modality to get myself off of those medications. So I was finally medication free, but my mental state was still not in the right place. So I did the the uh, inner voice scan multiple times a day. I, I bet I listened to those tones four and five times a day when I first got it. Um, and then I would always scan and optimize myself with the vitals and the comprehensive because that's all that we had. Today, I use the easy scan every morning. It's the first thing I do. I listen to my tones and then I usually will play a CEPI playlist for myself at some point. I also wear the dots. Uh, I keep a, a dot on me and I, I re-scan it every day. Um, not got that perfect body yet, but I'm working on it. <laughs> um, but something I noticed after about three months, I could tell a big shift in my mental state. And then after six months, friends and family were, well, my husband noticed it about three months in too. He said, something's changing with you. You're, you're completely different from what you used to be. And I went, yeah, I feel different. I feel better. I feel brighter. Uh, I felt, I felt like I was more alive uh, than I'd ever been. And so that was a big change for me. And then six months in, everybody's like, what, what are you doing? You look amazing, you know, compared to Cause I, I did, I was not a happy person. I was, I, I was not in a good place, but today it's just like, I'm a totally different person than I was three years ago. So it is an incredible device. Do anybody else, does anybody else have anything they'd like to share? Can I ask, or- can I ask a question regarding to what you were talking? <clears throat> sure. So if you run the inner voice scan every day or easy scan, cause it still uses your voice. If you don't listen to the tones, does it give you the same benefit? I don't think it does because like this morning, I was in such a rush to get done what I needed to get done today that I forgot to listen to my tones. And I ran my scan, but I forgot to listen to my tones. And I usually always set aside that time and just do that first thing in the morning. And today's been a little weird, a little off for me today. But we're having some strange weather too. So it's like, well, which one is it? Is it because I didn't listen to my tones today or is it because the weather's off? Um, so it, I honestly can tell you that if you're consistent by listening to the tones every day, you will notice a shift in yourself. And a lot of people will tell me, um, a lot of the people that I work with, I have several that I do like inner voice scans only on. 
And I have people tell me they can feel a difference within just a couple of days. And I have some that takes a week, some that it takes a full month for. So I think it's just dependent on you and what you've got going on emotionally and what traumas you've been through. And then what about if you do, let's suppose, inner voice or the easy scan and you don't don't use the voice? If you do for somebody which is like remote, is it still as effective? Uh, you can't do the inner voice without a voice or without breathing or crying. You have to have something to put into that scanner or to record into the scanner. So the yeah. same as easy scan too, right? You have to put yeah, something. Easy, easy scan actually <clears throat> incorporates your inner voice, your vitals, and your comprehensive all three together. So you have to have your voice for that. You can run just the vitals and the comprehensive on yourself every day. Um, I think it'll just take a little longer because with every dis-ease, there's an emo emotional anchor. If you're not addressing that emotional part, which is the inner voice, you're not going to have as quickly as a shift as you'd like to see. Got it. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Tamara's asking, when listening, do you have to hear them or can you run them without audio or volume down hearing them? I think it's important that you hear them because there's binaural beats and then there's frequencies that we can't hear that is still affecting us. The music is just there for aesthetics, but um, there is some binaural beats in that inner voice. So that affects one side of the brain or the other side of the brain. You're welcome. Any other questions or any other testimonials? Um, someone's asking if they have a set of the bone bone conductor headphones, but not by Solix. Now, if they're not calibrated, uh, you're probably not getting the same effect. I would I would definitely use the ones from Solix because they are calibrated to go with our devices. Now you can use any headphones or earbuds that you want to listen to things, but if you're scanning. It's best if you use the bone conductors or nothing at all. I mean, that's that would be my uh, suggestion, unless Lauren says something different, and I'd be happy to ask Lauren too. Any other questions or testimonials? So, Tammy, you're huh? saying the bone conducting headphones are optimal when listening to inner voice tones. No, and no, the, the bone conductors are only when you're scanning. That they're only used when you're doing your scans on yourself. Um, the only time you, the only, you use headphones or earbuds to listen to music or to listen to things um, like the inner voice tones. You wouldn't use the bone conductors. So when we do a remote inner voice, they do not have the bone conducting on. So is it just a level of efficacy? Yes, I think so. Like when I'm, when I'm at home, I'll use my bone conductors when I'm at home. But if I'm out traveling and I don't have them with me, I'll go ahead and scan myself on my scanner without them. But I find that if I use the bone conductors, it's a better experience and the, the scan results seem to be a little bit more accurate. Thank you for that clarification. You're welcome. A lot of people will do the scans without the bone conductors. Though. I mean, because we do those remotely for people and they're not wearing the bone conductors and you're still getting about probably 85 to 90% accuracy without the bone conductors. So. I just feel like if you've got the scanner and you have all the pieces, then use them all together. Um, that, that is where you're going to get your best results from. But there's times that I don't, I don't have my bone conductors and I'll just scan myself. Any other questions or testimonials that anybody wants to share? I don't believe you can, do, you, I mean, you can't do them back to back. The scanner won't let you do the scans very often. They'll let you do them 
like on my little dog, when she was sick in October, this past October, I scanned and optimized her as often as I could. And we could only do the vitals on, on animals. So every chance that I could do the vitals on her, which you could do it up to five, six times a day. Uh, you just can't do it one right after another. So I would scan and optimize her as often as I could and give her new tones because with the pet vitals, you got the tones at the top. So I'd let her listen to her tone several times a day. And I truly believe that's what pulled her out of, she was in complete organ failure. We almost lost her. Um, but how do you do the PET scan? Because I know that you can run Cephis on them, but I could not find how to run the on the animal. Let me share Vital. my screen and I'll show you exactly how it looks. How's that? Thank you. You're welcome. So let's get in here. Well, let's just pull up another page since it's being. All right. All right. So your pets, you load them up here. Once you have them loaded, then whenever you want to run a scan on an animal, go to your vitals. This little drop down menu right here is where you'll pick your animal if you've loaded them in the, the dogs uh, section and then you just hit scan. Okay. And that's how you know. So it's the same, it's the same premise with the uh, Cephi, you're picking the target. Um, they are still working on the comprehensive scan for the animals. I don't think it's been done yet. Uh, Dr. gursky has been out of, out of, kind of out of pocket right now and I think he's coming back sometime in I think in April or May um and then he'll he'll probably you'll see him back on the calls again but that that's where you where you run it now it. you yep. you I can put you can put an animal in as a human profile and in fact Dr. Gursky had me do that with piggy britches because she was so sick so that he could see the organs on the comprehensive, even though they didn't match up to an animal, but he knew how to read them. Um, so you can put an animal in as a human profile. It's just, and, you know, scan and optimize them that way, but it, their, their anatomy is not going to match up. So you can do that though. Okay. That's good. Thank you. Yeah. Any other questions or comments? It's about time yep. for our call. Go ahead. What if you don't know the dog's birthday, birth month? You can either muscle test and ask if you know how to muscle test. Because uh, my, gra my grand pup, we didn't know he was a shelter dog or a dog that they rescued. Uh -huh. And we just muscle tested and got the, you know, got the proximity of the month and the year. And, and that's what we put in. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions before we go, before we end the call? All right, please get back to the person that invited you here. If you're here just visiting and you have more interest in it. And um, like I said, Sheila was not able to come on the call, but if she invited you here, please get back with her and ask her any questions you may have. Um, but we'll end this tonight and we'll see you next Wednesday. If you have anybody that would like to come on and learn, feel free to invite them. But thanks everybody. And we'll see you next time.